yesterday you spent the whole uh, afternoon together with the Prime Minister and you invited him for the Copenhagen Fashion Week. What did you talk about? We talked about the situation in the fashion industry for the time being, what the challenges are due to the financial crisis situation. And he was very uh, compassionate, listening, and uh, at the end of the evening we had a meeting with seven directors of fashion companies and we had a discussion on what are the challenges for the future and how can he help the industry and he was very supportive. And what about the financial crisis? How has it affected the uh, Fashion Week? I've been visiting the fair both yesterday and today and I see smiley faces all over and I'm really relieved because even though we did everything we possibly could to pump this Fashion Week up with what warm air or whatever it takes it actually showed that people were coming and the vis the number of visitors has almost been the same the number of shows we've got more square meters more exhibitors and they're also buying so you know the buying power is still there and the interest of fashion from Scandinavia and Denmark is still growing so you know I'm really pleased <laughs> And you've been to all the shows. Can you see from the Danish designers that they have changed the way of designing clothes? I actually think it looks like they've become more professional. The way they present their collections, it's more tight. It's like a one joint story. It's like they have got a grip on how to present their collections. I don't know if it has anything to do with the financial situation or just that they've matured a lot. But I think, and I also think that we've seen a lot of new inventions. There's a young, creative talent growing and I think we've uh, got some very potential designers coming. Thank you Eva. You're very welcome.